、まあ、そんな試合を、まあ、日本のファン限らず、まあ、世界のボクシングファンに向けてまたこうそんな試合でもこれだけの力の差があるんだところを見せてあの試合をしていきたいなと。I didn't need to prove in the world that who I am. I need to prove myself. I am a champion. I don't need to prove anybody. Just need to prove myself. In the unforgiving world of boxing, only a select few can claim the honor. Nine men have touched the pinnacle of undisputed glory in the modern four belt era. And rarer still, of those nine, only one man has been able to conquer undisputed in multiple divisions. The monster on the attack! Oh, right hand wins him! Oh, a huge right hand from the monster! On December 26th, a chance for history unfolds. Unified Super Bantamweight Champion Naoya Inoue, known as the Monster, <laughs> aspires to ascend to the rarefied air of multi division undisputed virtue. One of the best finishers in boxing, if not the best. Standing in his path, a unified champion in his own right, Marlon Tapales, known as the Nightmare. The Southpaw from the Philippines is determined to disrupt Inoue's trajectory and claim undisputed honors for himself. Beating this guy is a big achievement for my career. Prime versus Prime. Unified Champion faces Unified Champion. A fearless underdog seeks to shock the world against a stalwart knockout artist known for inflicting violence with a flair for the dramatic. Here comes Inoue! That destructive, decisive power does it again! Pound for pound status hangs in the balance, as does immortality etched in the hallowed ledgers of the sweet science. The monster versus the nightmare. Oh, and left hand there! Naoya Inoue versus Marlon Tapales for the undisputed super phantom weight crown. Undisputed prestige and history await. This is exactly what the fans want, and they're getting it. Tuesday, the 26th, an undisputed title fight. Both men unified champions, Naoya Inoue and Marwin Tapavas, meeting up to decide who's going to get all four belts at 122 pounds. Moving up two weight divisions, becoming undisputed in two weight classes in a year time, that's unheard of. If you told me that there was a casual fan that wanted to understand what current world championship boxing looks like, feels like, is, I would say he's the one fighter you must watch. When everybody else is finding reasons not to fight and not to make the big fights, Naoya Inoue is running towards those fights and he's pressuring to make those fights happen. Other fighters need to follow in his footsteps. この2階級で4団体統一の偉業を成し遂げたいとかベルトを4つ取りたいとかそこじゃないんですよだから自分がどれだけ強い姿を見せれるかどれだけのパフォーマンスを見せれるか戦いたいってところなんですよ。My thoughts on the Inouye vs. Fulton fight I was surprised of how easy Inouye made that fight look You know you hear all the time the great ones make it look easy Trying to claim two more belts as Fulton tried to grab the ropes, backed up into the corner. He made it look easy, dominating a two-time world champion. Who I thought in Fulton had the toughness, the skill set to be able to compete and combat against anyway in his skills. And anyway showed that he was levels above Fulton. Now Oya Inouye is doing things and doing them to great fighters. Said a lot of times. He's boxing's perfect predator, but he's also 
the most efficient. This is what he delivers time and again. I don't recall many guys, knockout artists of, of his caliber, moving with that economy. What he does with very little movement is extraordinary. Seven. Oh, the big right hand from Naoya Inouye. Maloney is down and hurt. What does this quest say about him? It says that he's a fighter that all fighters should aspire to be. Don't talk about fighting the best, fight them. Don't, don't talk about unifying, unify. I think that the onus is on the fighters and they should take note of Inouye.そう Noe Inoue is very tough to describe because he's unlike almost any fighter we've ever seen before. He has this unique combination of extraordinary God-gifted power, skill, speed, athleticism, toughness, grit, the ability to be resilient, but it's packaged in a small body and it almost seemingly has no boundary as to where he can go with it. It does not matter as he goes up in weight. That power not only carries, but the dynamic, explosive quality of being the biggest bully and the viper. He's the apex predator. That's what he is. And he's showing it time and time again. As a fan, what more could you ask for? He's fun to watch. He takes risks. He knows how to finish a fight. He's technically skilled, so he's a complete fighter. He's a complete package, and I think that's what makes him different. He's what boxing needs. He is the man who's gonna give you a little bit of everything in a fight, and at the end, you're gonna leave satisfied knowing you saw an in a way monster performance. The monster! A four division world champion! I believe he's the most dynamic fighter on earth today. You can make an argument as to who's number one pound for pound, but in terms of being purely dynamic, in a ways the guy. Marlon Tabalas is playing with house money. And not to say he's satisfied, but he's going up against the monster in Japan to become an undisputed champion. Man, I'm on fire. I light the whole city up. Pull up in the building truck. Looking like that's really us. Riding like the president. We just came to represent. Rep the side of sipping when I'm dipping through the trenches. Yeah, all my dogs are treacherous. Please stand next to us. Elevate your mindset. Now we only fly just Hustle till you come up. Yeah, homie, that's the process. Pull up with a fly check and win you with the nonsense. I would describe Marlon DePaulis as gritty a bit savvy inside the ring, toughness coming from the Philippines, workmanlike inside the ring, but also has some finesse to go along with him. He's a southpaw, decent punching power, nothing crazy at all, but he needs to be respected. The camp going is uh, I feel good and uh, comfortable because uh, we're here in Philippines and at uh, the same time the Japan time and the uh, Philippine time is uh, almost uh, the same. Tapalos is tough. Tapalos is a veteran. Tapalos is proven. Tapalos is fearless. Tapalos is a guy who has proven that he can pull the upset. He has proven that he will take on any challenge, and I think that fearlessness will serve him as best as can be. I know how to, how to control that fear, but the thing is I have good, I know that myself that I have a good training camp, so why should I fear? 
I fear nothing right now because I have big confidence for myself that I can do it. He lost his first world title opportunity against Iwasa, another Japanese fighter, and now he has an opportunity to get a glorious win for himself, for his career, and a life-changing opportunity for himself and for his family because a victory over Naoya Inoue changes generations of Tapales' lives. Marlon Tapales, Southpaw, a lot of experience at the highest levels of the division, but most important, he's got two belts. The Philippines have a new unified champion. I know myself and I know what I, I bring in Japan. I know, I know my training, I know my confidence, and I know what's in my mind. I want to go down the first undisputed Filipino world champion. I want to fight Naoya Inoue because uh, I want to prove myself that uh, you know, I'm a champion. Tapalos has to go for broke. I really believe that. I don't think that you can sit back as a significant underdog. And listen, we're talking about a unified champion being an underdog, which is remarkable to even think of that. But I think he's got to go for broke. I think you got to say, listen, I can be a rugged guy who can throw leather and let me do it and see what I come up with. Inoue's been hit before. Inoue's been in trouble before. Now, he's not only survived it, but he's been dynamic in coming up with wins when it's happened, the broken orbital bone against Nonito Donaire. But I think he's gotta go for it. And if you're Inoue, I think you just have to live to your expectation and to your standard. He's the best fighter in the world. He has more weaponry than anybody else does. So simply be yourself. Goes back to it again. In a way, who vacated his four belts, his undisputed status at Bantamweight, to come up to 122 pounds and say, I want the best guy in the division right away. This is the baddest man at 122 pounds. And in a way, is making this look easy. Fulton hurt badly. The monster on the attack. Trying to claim two more belts as Fulton tried to grab the ropes. Up into the corner. Here comes in away. That destructive, decisive power does it again. As far as for in a way, just be you. <laughs> we sometimes overuse the word greatness in boxing. Not here, not now. That is greatness. Greatness. Ah, tada. Ma, skills are also. This. 瞬発的なバカ then he want to throw punch, a lot of punches, then, then I can counter him. That's why I know the key, how to win. The key for Naoya Inoue in this fight is going to be to stay defensively responsible because you can't allow a fighter as physically strong as Marlon Tapales is to land those shots that other fighters landed at 118 pounds. Left hand there, a good one from Tapales. The sensational, undefeated, three-division champion of the world, Naoya, the monster Inoue! The Super Bantam is the first one to tap the stop. What is the most different thing to do? Fulton is the first one to come to Japan, but I think it's a different part of the neck. It's a different part of the neck. Tapales defense is usually just using a high guard. Inoue has shown throughout his career that anyone that stands in front of him and becomes an instant punching bag and they use the high guard, he destroys it. I want to beat Naoya Inoue in 12 rounds because I want to enjoy and I want to feel the punch that, you know, they say that the monster is very strong. That I want to feel it, like I want to enjoy it. If I have a chance to knock him out, of course I will knock him out. 
I'm excited about this fight. Anytime you get to see a real unification, it's great. But when you get to see a guy who's arguably the best fighter in the world, that's even better. You are watching greatness in his absolute prime. Even Stephen Fulton didn't have the one-punch power that Tapales had. So Inouye's gonna have to be careful. Those lead uppercuts that Tapales throws, those awkward angles that he uses, that southpaw stance, all that's gonna be challenging early on for Naoya Inouye. But at the end of the day, we all tune in to watch Naoya Inouye to be that offensive machine. The fact that the opponent's a unified champion, this is special for the fans. The fact that it's happening right away after what he was able to accomplish moving up to 122 pounds this past July, you gotta love this guy. He over delivers time and again, and here he is going for another undisputed crown, this time at 122 pounds. I give credit to Tapalis. He's not afraid of this matchup. He's a guy who has pulled off the upset before. That's why he's got two belts. He's a guy who you know stylistically is gonna come forward, gonna make a fight. And because of that, you have to expect fireworks. He's in against arguably the best pound for pound fighter in the world. A guy who is wildly athletic, powerful, skilled, and dynamic. So I think for both guys, it really is a great opportunity to close out 2023.